Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Francesco here. I hope everyone's doing really, really well. So in this video, we're going to be talking about what's new with the iOS 11 Notes. Now, Notes is obviously Apple's default note-taking application. However, in September time, in fall, uh, we will be getting a new update to our iOS devices with the new Notes function. So I wanted to run through a few of the changes that iOS Notes 11, iOS 11 Notes have brought to the table. Now I am unable to get the update on my device, uh, but uh, what I do, I want to do today is talk about uh, some of the functions that they've added. So they have added sketch abilities. Uh, they had a bit of this in the previous version. However, the, uh, they seem to have advanced most of the uh, functionality there. So you can now uh, sketch at free will. They've added the Apple Pencil integration. So now um, you've got the ability to go in a lot more detail. So when you're you know, making all these pretty stuff, uh, in, in notes you can do you can make it look very good with the Apple pencil now the other thing they've done is they've added a thing called instant notes which means that when you've got your Apple pencil and you want to look at your start taking notes like immediately you can tap your pencil against the screen and it will open up where you last uh, left off which is good so that's quite a new thing they've uh, introduced now they've also got uh, inline drawings which is inside of the uh, notes application so instead of having to have them sporadically put across your iOS notes. You ha now have the ability to see that all in one space very cleanly, and you can now do that in Mail too, which is quite impressive. Now, you're probably wondering what this is. Yes, it is a document scanner. They've officially added this inside of Notes, which means that the likes of ScanBot have a new competitor. You are able to see this in full. Uh, I think it's all in full bleed. So if you want color, if you want uh, no color, then it's all there, which is great. So this is something they, they're continually adding to in, in iOS Notes. Um, I'm not sure the, they've added this detail to the page. However, they have added the, um, the ability inside of uh, the iOS 11 Notes to search handwriting, which is a very interesting function. So, you know, with all these new abilities, you're probably wondering, you know, is this a competitor now to the likes of Evernote, Bear, and other applications? Now, iOS Notes, I've never really considered a competitor. However, with this update, they sort of become a more of a competitor of Bear um, because Bear is just launched a sketching feature um, and they have a few. But I don't really think it will be a competitor to Bear necessarily. I think it's a good experience. Um, but again, the cross-platform functionality is not amazing. Same with Bear, though. It won't be really tackling Evernote of any kind, I don't think. Uh, but these interesting updates are very good for iPad users, uh, Apple Pencil users, and obviously users who like iOS Notes anyway. Some of these features are very impressive. The document scanner looks really easy. One note on a document scanner, you can actually annotate it with the Apple Pencil. I'm not sure whether you can annotate it without the Apple Pencil, but that's fairly impressive still. So these are all things that have updated in iOS 11 Notes. Something that you should definitely check out in September time. Anyway, guys, I'll include as much information in the description below if you want to go a little deeper into this. But I just want to thank you very much uh, for stopping by. If you haven't joined the e-newsletter, feel free to join the e-newsletter. It's a weekly uh, email straight to your inbox covering productivity apps, resources, articles. I know you'll love it, so feel free to join up to it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.